Um, we are doing a Finding Dory theme decoration today. So, to do this, you need some 11 inch latex balloons, some a, well, a weight. I use the 5 inch balloons for the water weight, um, which I will show you in a minute because it is currently keeping Dory from touching the roof. Um, but you will need some 11 inch, you will need a, a weight of some kind, I'm doing water weight. Um, and some 260s, and then a Dory balloon. Now, the Dory balloon, I actually got it at Walmart, and it was only $6. Um, they also have them at Party City. I believe they are $10 at Party City, both places. They come with helium already inflated, uh, at least, you know, mine did. Um, but we are going to make some seaweed, and we are going to have Dory coming out of it. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to do the 11 inch. Now on the 11 inch, I inflated them. I cannot tell you an exact size. I can tell you amount of pumps I did. I inflated them 16 pumps. Just, just like that. And of course, a lot of the stuff I've already started, so that way the video is not as long. So, tie them together, make your duplet, do four of them, make a quad. Just like that. That's ready to go. Um, now for the 260s, I'm using eight 260s for the seaweed. You can do more, you can do less. I like eight. I also have a spare uninflated 260 and we will be using that as well. So make sure you're including that in your calculations when you do your orders. And most of the stuff you can order at the store with the link below, except for the Dory balloon. That's the one you're gonna have to get. But the 260s, the 11 inch, if you want five inch to make the water weight, all that stuff can be um, ordered at the store. For the 260s, I fully inflated them. So some of them is nine pumps, some is 10, depends on the balloon. That one's just over nine. Okay, so now I'm going to let a decent amount of air out. And that way it softens it up, but it's still fully inflated. And I'm going to tie it to another one to make a duplex. Okay. So the reason that I let the air out is because um, we're going to shape it to make it more like seaweed. So I'm going about a foot up and then I start bending it and then I do that all the way up the balloon. And I'm not doing them all at the same height, so that way it's kind of all over. I am keeping it about a foot up though, and you will see why in a few minutes. Okay, so once you have got all your seaweed done and shaped, we are going to put them all together. So we'll take two and push them in, twist them around, make sure they're locked in, add two more, push them in, twist around, add two more, push them in, and they're all together. Okay. Now, 
Um, I got this Dory balloon and it was fully inflated when I got it. However, that was yesterday. And today, because of the fact that our house is colder than the store, it slightly deflated. So, what I did was I just pumped a little bit of air into the opening. Let me see if you can see that. Okay, so there's an opening right here. And I just put the nozzle up into the self-sealing valve and I pumped a little bit more air in and of course now that I did that the weight they put on it no longer um, weighs it down it now lifts the weight up but that's okay because we're putting it on here and the water weight I made does not do that so I made a pretty good size water weight it's slightly smaller than the palm of my hand. This is two 5-inch balloons. Um, you can do 11-inch balloons. However, there's only one balloon with helium in it, so you really don't need to. So, water weight goes down here. Neck comes through right here. And then I just twist it in under and around so now it's weighted down now for the 260s we're going to kind of do the same thing but I want to group them all together and so you can see they're all fairly straight up until this one foot area and so what I'm going to do is take the uninflated 260 and I'm going to wrap it around and tie them so that they stay together and I'm using the same color so that it blends in. So now that that's done, um, we'll cut off the excess. The other thing is when you wrap it, try to keep the balloon from twisting. You want it to be smooth. Um, I don't know, it just looks better. I mean, I guess that can be totally up to you. If you're doing it professionally, you should keep it smooth. If you're doing it for your own party, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so those are in together. So now I'm going to take the one of the necks from one of the 11 inch balloons and I'm going to weave it through in here so that it will hold it down into it. So I just pushed it through the back and now it's out here. So now I'm going to take another neck and I'm just going to tie them together. That is done. So the next thing we need to do is we need to attach Dory into it. And I'm going to actually leave Dory on the string that um, it came on. I'm going to leave the neck down. What you're not going to see me do is I'm going to position her where I want her compared to the seaweed. How far up the seaweed I want to go surrounding her. And then once I figure that out, I'm going to wrap the string around and figure eight it. And then I'm also going to tie it to the part that's coming up just to give it a little bit more secure. And then I will be back with the finished product. Okay, so here is Dory all done. Um, she measures 52 inches tall, done just this way where she's kind of snuggled into the center of the 260s. 
and the bottom balloons i went ahead and measured them they are seven and a half inches so if you're using a sizer that's what these are they could be smaller um you can also you know add more 260s i am going to add a couple of fish balloons to it and then i will show you a picture when all of that is done if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you are new i make videos almost every single friday and post them so subscribe so you don't miss them